So, let's see you again. How did you get on with the blood pressure machine? So I took it away and um, I've done my... The consultation. The main thing that doctors do. The main thing patients remember. Significant encounters that can occur in all sorts of places. At the end of the bed, on the end of the phone, at the end of our wits. But what makes for a good consultation? For me, a doctor, the good list includes feeling we kind of trust each other, that I've perhaps brought some clarity to a messy situation or made or recommended an intervention that might actually help. Of course, it's also good to bring things to a timely conclusion. But even for an experienced practitioner, the consultation throws up loads of challenges. If you're a patient or a doctor, I suspect you'll agree, there's a lot to get right and wrong. So, how best to teach this critical aspect of medical practice? I'll tell you what's really helped me as an educationalist, is having a clear model of the clinical encounter, a way of breaking it down into manageable chunks that can be named, discussed and taught. When we set about designing a new, future-proof medical curriculum, we couldn't find a model that encompassed all the aspects that we thought a consultation should be. So, we decided to design a new one. We reviewed decades of research on what patients want and doctors do. We convened an expert panel, including Professor David Pendleton, a recognised expert in consultation skills training. And we incorporated the latest recommendations of the UK's General Medical Council. Finally, we made sure our thinking was closely aligned with the curriculum wheel of the UK Council for Clinical Communication. The result? A brand new model for clinical encounters, one that we've called COG Connect. It's a framework for teaching good consultations wherever they may occur. In COG Connect, we represent the consultation as two COGs, one for the practitioner and the other for the patient. These two previously separate entities come together in the heightened circumstances of the clinical encounter. Now to avoid a kind of crunchy engagement, the skilled practitioner selects the right gear matching both the shape and the speed of the patient's presentation. This moment of connection is necessarily brief, but it's also quite strong and has a clear sense of direction to it. Call Connect divides the consultation into a series of stages. Each of these stages is packed to the gills with learning outcomes and educational resources to bring those outcomes to life, both in the classroom and in clinical settings. In formulating, clinical reasoning and clinical evidence meet an individual patient situation. We train students to pause, to consider any possible biases and to ask themselves, what, so what and what next? Activating is a unique feature of COG Connect, guiding the patient towards things they can do themselves to get and stay well. I'm thinking of things like eating healthily, being more physically active and paying attention to their emotional well-being. These are roles that are highlighted in virtually every modern clinical guideline and which historically have had little coverage within medical training. Stop taking that after about six weeks. Six weeks. A well-structured consultation is a good thing. But it's even better when the practitioner is really engaged. So, in designing CogConnect, we also studied the research on the doctor-patient relationship and looked at studies on what patients really want from their practitioners. And we used this to distill the human qualities that really help make for effective consulting. We came up with five personal attributes that now sit at the centre of CogConnect. Consultations will flow best when practitioners are compassionate, approaching clinical situations with kindness, curious, keen.
keen to get the bonnet up on the intricacies of ill health. Critical, avoiding diagnostic bias and being discerning in the use of tests and treatments. Creative, willing to find new answers to old problems and collaborative, really ready to work alongside patients, carers and colleagues. We've called these qualities the five C's. You can think of them as the oil that lubricates the cogs of Cog Connect and enables the sort of flow we all feel when a consultation is going well. Cog Connect is a consultational model for 21st century medicine. It's strong on head, clinical reasoning, heart, clinical communication and hands, clinical skills. We've been trialling CogConnect with our early year students and we find it really helps. It creates a structure in what can be a bewildering arena and our actor role players are pretty impressed by the competence and confidence of our students. There's a lot more to CogConnect than we can fit into this short film. To find out more, including how we use this in our educational practice, check out our website. CogConnect is still in evolution and we're looking for seasoned practitioners, service users and students to help us create an educational tool that really rocks. CogConnect. Cognition. Connection. Care.